Stan Wadey was born in Calhoun, Georgia on December 12, 1806, as part of the Cherokee Nation. By 1827, his family had become very wealthy, slave-owning planters in Georgia. He grew up and he learned how to uh, read and write English. He also uh, became a Christian and was very successful in the uh, Cherokee government in Georgia. But when gold was discovered on Cherokee lands in northern Georgia, thousands of white settlers encroached on Indian lands. In 1832, Georgia confiscated most of the Cherokee land. Stan Wadey and his family stood in favor of voluntary removal of the Cherokees to Oklahoma and were members of a group that signed the Treaty of New Echota. The anti removal group, led by John Ross, refused to ratify it. Wadey and his family moved to our Indian Territory and became successful farmers and planters in the territory and were very active in the government there. Cherokees who remained on tribal lands were forcibly removed in 1838 in the journey known as the Trail of Tears. 1861, when the Civil War broke out, Stan Wadey joined the side of the Confederacy. He was one of only two Native Americans on either side to rise to the uh, rank of Brigadier General. He was in command of the 1st Indian Brigade of Mounted Rifles. They fought in numerous battles and skirmishes in the western theater of the Civil War. Uh, They fought in several states, including the Indian Territory, Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas, and Texas. They fought in more battles west of the Mississippi than any other unit. They also participated in, in what is considered the greatest Confederate victory in Indian Territory, which took place at Cabin Creek in 1864, where they captured wagons, mules, and supplies that were needed for the Confederacy. In 1865, following the Battle of Dokesville, Stan Wadey became the last Confederate general to surrender, and that was in June 1865. Stan Wadey continued to be very active in Cherokee politics until his death on September 9, 1871.